One of the key results derived from Gauss's law is that the external electric field near the surface of a charged conductor is perpendicular to the surface and it has the magnitude given by this equation right here. So what we have is that the electric field magnitude equals sigma, which is a surface charge density, and more on that in just a moment, divided by a constant value. And that constant value we can look up in our textbook, so we'll see what that is in just a moment. Let's first talk about surface charge density, which is denoted by the Greek letter sigma. Now surface charge density is a very simple expression. It's basically the amount of charge on a plate divided by the area of that plate. And so in fact, we can take our electric field equation and we can substitute in this expression for sigma, the surface charge density. So we would have the electric field is equal to the magnitude of the charge divided by the area of a plate and that's divided by that constant value epsilon naught. The question wants us to find the magnitude of charge on each plate, so we're actually looking for this value right here. So we're going to algebraically rearrange this equation. And the first step would be to multiply both sides of the equation by epsilon naught. Those epsilons will cancel on the right-hand side. And then we have epsilon naught times the electric field magnitude is equal to the magnitude of charge divided by the area of the plate. And then finally, we can multiply both sides of the equation by the area of the plate. So after a little bit of algebraic shuffling, we can see that area times epsilon times electric field magnitude is equal to the magnitude of charge on each plate. And that's exactly what we want to calculate again. So the area of the plate was given in the question to be one meter squared, so that's our area. We have the electric field magnitude of 55 newtons per coulomb, and then that constant value epsilon, or epsilon naught, is equal to 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12, and then it has a funny unit of coulombs squared per newton meter squared. So we're gonna come back down to our equation and plug in all three of those values. So the values have been plugged in with the appropriate units. Let's study the units carefully to see what the units of the final answer will be. The meter squared in the numerator there and the meter squared in the denominator there will cancel. The newtons will cancel. And then you'll also have a factor of coulombs that cancels. So you can cancel that coulombs out completely and then this coulomb squared becomes coulombs to the power of one. So you're left basically with just coulombs, which makes sense because we're calculating a magnitude of charge. When you punch this into your calculator, you will get approximately 4.9 times 10 to the negative 10. And again, this comes out to be in coulombs. So this would be the magnitude of charge on each plate and the correct answer to the question.